Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Views. Thanks for stopping by to watch this review. I'm going to do a beer from Sinister Brew. They are up in Dalkeith. Um, and they've released a series of, of seven beers called Seven Seas. Um, there we go. I'm going to look at this one. And this is their Arctic Ocean Imperial Stout. Now, each of these beers is um, named after an ocean or a sea around the world. So it's a series of seven. I've only got four. These were given to me by Ben the Beer Lad. He's got five. Four of the same I've got and one other one. Um, each one of them is a limited edition. And there's only 312 of each can. Um, I say I've got four. Um, and this is the one I'm going to open up with this one. This is the Arctic Ocean Imperial Stout. It's number 41 out of 312. It says it's 11.2%. And it's a space side, space side battle aged. Um, before I crack on, um, one I can't read the writing on the back of that, and I said that on all the cans, so I've got no information for you. Um, the can has got texture to it. All these raindrops that you can see are all um, textured, so you've got a bit of a. I don't know why I'm doing that. You've got a bit of a grip on the can, but it's nice to see a bit, a bit of thought being put in. Um, what I have been told, I got told this this morning by Ben the Beer Lad, who was in, who got these from Priest Town in Preston. He he reckons, or so he was told, by the chap who sold them to Priest Town, that these aren't eleven point two percent ABV. They made a mistake, and apparently, they are fourteen percent each. Apparently, um, that's what the guy in Priest Town was telling Ben, and Ben's in there all the time. Um, check out his channel. Anyway, I say if I've got four of the seven, I can't find the other three anyway. Um, so let's just see. Let's do what we've got. Let's pop it up, see what's what. So, space side, battle aged, imperial style is basically what we've got. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting all that carbonation. Did you see it picking up all carbonation in the glass? I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, beer in the glass, jet black. Yeah, jet black beer. And we've got, we had the finger of really tanned head. Um, but that is rapidly dissipating. I'm using my Asvex tacker because I've not got anything else. Another tacker glass to put this in. Anyway, let's get the nose so what we can smell. Wow, whoa. Look at the battle straight away. There's a hit, a big hit of whiskey. There's an earthiness, a peatiness to it. Roasted malt, burnt sugar. Maybe even a bit of dark chocolate in there. Whoa, we meet, oh, whoa, my pipes are full of alcohol vapor. Wow. Right, let's go for the body and carb. Cheers. This is 14%. Let's go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's naughty. That beer's giving me goosebumps. It's very rare, rare, rare that a beer does that to me. Okay, so, body. Is you know what? It's a light to medium body. I thought it would be thick and heavy, but it's not. I am um, barley, oats, wheat, hops, and yeast. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, carbonation is light. It's there, but it's light. Um, I say body is, is is light to me. I thought it would be thick and heavy, but it's not. Right, let's go for a big taste. Cheers. on the back end your mouth is filled with alcohol vapor I've got a little warm tingle here up front I mean, well, it's not bad up front it's roasted malt it's 
dark chocolate. It's even maybe even, even a little bit of dark fruits in there, raisins and stuff like that. You've got a little bit of sweetness from a burnt sugar. Um, a little bit of licorice in there. You don't get that. I don't get any of that on the nose, but it's there. Um, and then the the battle comes in and just obliterates everything. Um, that's really good. It was very nice. I'm going to get a little bit of dark chocolate now. Everything happens at the, all the good stuff happens at the end of the beer. Once you've had your mouth full and you start letting it, letting the flavours develop, it's lovely. It really is lovely. It reminds me of the um, Brew York State of Mind beers I did a couple of. Uh, couple of months ago was it was it the start of June middle of June and um, they were all battle aged it reminds me of that um as in there's an underlying sweetness but that's not too it's not but it's not too sweet because all this bitterness that's going on is, is quite nice that battle's lovely that space side battle there is again I never said I've got it on the aroma and there is a, a, a earthiness to it as well there's a lot a lot going on Ice very really nice, I really do. Let Mrs. Beard have a crack on it, see what she thinks. Um, but yeah, let's wrap this review up then. So this is a Sinister Brew out of Dalkeith in Scotland, and this is their Seven Seas. This is their Arctic Ocean Imperial Stout, 11.2. Although it could very well be 14%. I don't know. I, I've got, I've got. I'm gonna say, got it on good authority. So, I am. Um, just before we do go, I like this. I do like the can art, by the way. That's the that's the guy. That's the uh, since the brew logo um, mascot, whatever you want to call him. Uh, being basically being tackled by a massive octopus. Anyway, um, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. We'll put a link to the um, Sinister Brew. Website you can't buy off them. They sell directly to bottle shops and stuff. But there's a list of bottle shops. Um, there's also a QR code. You can find them on Facebook and you can find them on Instagram and you can find them on Untapped as well. Um, this was canned on the seventh of November twenty two, especially for November twenty seven. So there you go. Anyway, so if you, I say if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Um, do what you got to do. Put the I'll put the link in. Um, do that for the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there. See you in the next one. Stay late, stay safe. Drink what makes you happy. Hey, Leo.